Runners, I want to congratulate you on your first week of training. Well done. And welcome to week two. And whether you believe it or not, you're doing it. That is the most important and only way to really improve by putting in the time and effort, and that is exactly what you're doing. Exactly. We will continue to build upon each week, adding new workouts, distances, and tips to stay healthy along the way. Following today, we will have a tempo run, a new fun type of run, followed by a strength day on day four, and a long run on day six, with rest days in between. As we move through this training plan, additional days will be added to the weekly schedule. The road ahead looks exciting. Surely. Meanwhile, I will talk about a concept that you have already been taking advantage of for one week. It is something that in mind science we call micro hits. But more on that once David is through. Today, I want to talk about foot strike. Your foot strike is the way in which you land on each foot and push off of each foot when you're running. If you land on the front of your foot, you're a forefoot striker. If you land on the middle of your foot, you're a midfoot striker. And if you land on your heel, you're a heel striker. Remember, one is not better than the other. My focus is just to give you the education on the three, and it's your decision to pick which feels the most natural to you. For example, I'm a forefoot striker. It's important for me to know that to make sure during long runs or workouts, when I'm getting tired and to maintain landing on my forefoot, as that is the most comfortable and I find myself the most powerful to keep going. I have so many teammates from my past which are midfoot strikers or even heel strike athletes that are just as fit as I am. So like I said, one is not better than the other, but it's good for you to know which you are. So let's talk about micro hits before we get into our run. Using micro hits is an effective way to incorporate mindfulness into your training. A micro hit is a period of practice during which you dedicate most of your attention to doing a mindfulness exercise, but you're doing it for a short period of time. It could be 60 seconds, 5 minutes or 9 minutes. Any practice period that lasts less than 10 minutes we call a micro hit. Anything that lasts longer than 10 minutes we call formal practice. Micro hits are the main form of practice you will be using during this training program. We further divide practice into practice in stillness and practice in motion. Practice in stillness is when you're doing a technique as a micro hit or as formal practice when you're not engaged in any activity. You might be sitting, standing or lying but you are not engaging with the world around you or moving your body in any way. Practice in motion, on the other hand, is the exact opposite, where you are dedicating most of your attention to the technique, but you're doing it while you are moving, working out, running, stretching, or engaging with the world in any other way. So far, you've practiced micro hits in motion as well as in stillness, and the vast majority of the time during this training program, you will be practicing different techniques using micro hits in motion, and that is how we fully blend mental and physical training. So when David tells you to pay attention to your foot and notice what part of your foot you're landing on, then you would do that using a micro hit by using your concentration to direct your attention to your foot you will be using your clarity by trying to notice exactly those details, like what part of your foot is touching the ground first when you're running. And by trying to be open towards liking or not liking how you're landing, you're developing your coolness. You might be noticing that you will be incorporating micro hits at certain points, even though I'm not instructing you to. If that happens, that's great feel free to add as many micro hits in motion or in stillness as you are comfortable to. But I would recommend not overdoing it for the first few weeks because we want to increase practice in small manageable pieces. So David, should we take them through it as we go from here? Yes, let's begin. Let's combine our knowledge and make every running session worthwhile. Today, I want you to focus during your run on the part of your foot that you're landing on. Keep note of that and remember those moments when you're tired to make sure you're still landing in the most natural and comfortable way to you. Now let's get that 25 minute run done.